Hello art friends, welcome. Today I'm going to show you one of my favorite quick filler plants that I like to use in landscape paintings. It's a lot of fun. It's pretty fast and loose and pretty easy to do once you understand the techniques. So let me break it down for you. So for this technique, I like to use synthetic brushes. They generally have a little bit more firmness and snap to them. And I'm going to use a round brush with a nice pretty nice point at the end. So this plant is basically a combination of two separate techniques. So let's look at them individually and then we will combine them. I'm using gouache here. You can also um, use this technique for watercolor, but I do find that it helps to have a good amount of water in the mixture. You don't want the paint to be too dry for this. So we're gonna begin with a quick, sketchy kind of grass painting. And I hold my brush loosely for this, so a little bit higher up on the brush and kind of lay it down between these fingers, um, rest the thumb lightly and just kind of move the brush like this. Let's see from the side angle. So here we go, I'm gonna hold my brush loosely and create these kind of grassy looking brush strokes. And just play around with this. It's a lot of fun to do. Um, just take a practice sheet and just kind of sketch around and see what you come up with. After doing this a little bit more, you can better control how high the grasses will go and when you want to have some little kind of broken little pieces like that and when you want to have a larger bit of grass. So this is sort of, I, I use this technique for painting grass pretty often and we're just going to combine this with um, a little bit of like a leafy <laughs> leafy brush stroke and, and make a little plant out of it. So for the plant we're going to do, we want to get a little bit taller brush strokes like this. Something like that where we have room to put some leaves coming off in the future. And let's look at how to do those leaves now. So for this I'm going to do basically like a single uh, brush stroke leaf. I do show this um, painting method in another video. If you want to check that out, I'll link it about all about leaf painting and different techniques for leaf painting, but I'll show you here as well. So you're going to take your brush and place down the tip gently and then press down the rest of the brush. The belly of the brush will flatten out and then you kind of pull up slowly so you can see the, the tip at the end too. So one more time, press the tip down, push the belly of the brush down, flattens out, and then you as you drag the brush, you kind of pull up at the same time. So as you're dragging a little bit horizontally, you're pulling up slowly. So you're creating a pointed end. It's a nice convenient way of painting leaves because you do it in one brush stroke. So it takes a little bit of practice, but it's also fun and very satisfying. And you can do these from different angles and it's okay. They're not always gonna be perfect. And that's fine. There's all different kinds of leaves. There's all different kinds of shapes. Sometimes a leaf will have a little bend or a tear in it, or you know, you're seeing it in an angle. Um, so it's kind of fun just to, you know, see what happens. Um, it doesn't always go according to plan, especially if you're painting a little bit more quickly and sketchy, um, which I, I'm kind of going for here with this specific technique. I like, um, this is sort of like a filler plant that I'll use, you know, if I have like a large area of foliage in a painting and just kind of sketch some of these in quickly. And, and I like it when they're not completely perfect. I think it looks more natural that way. So we can embrace that. <laughs> Let me show you one more uh, leaf thing and then we'll combine them. So along with the um, single brush stroke leaves like this. I also like to do some foreshortened leaves. So it's a little bit different. Instead of pressing down the tip first, I'll kind of just flatten the whole brush down like this and then drag it towards me and like pull it up as I'm dragging. And you can kind of pull it left, you can pull it right, that kind of thing. So it's a, it's a little bit different. It's still one brush stroke, but it's just a little bit of a different method. So flatten the whole, <laughs> whole brush down and then drag it and pull it up and you get these like triangular shapes and these cool little shapes. So we're gonna now combine these grassy strokes with these leaves and get a cute little plant. So let's do it. So you can do this in different orders and I'll, I'll kind of mix it up myself just depending on how I'm feeling. So let's start first with the grass on this one. So loose grass strokes and then let's do some leaves. So you can either start out here and drag the leaf towards the grass and meet up with it. Sometimes it can be hard to match it up. It doesn't have to be perfect. So there's a little space, that's fine. Or you can start at the end here and kind of drag it out. You would assume this would be easier for whatever reason. I kind of like to start outward and drag it in. I feel like a lot of times that looks better when I do it that way. I don't know why, this could just be me, but you guys can play around with that. I think it looks best when you actually let 
the leaves like totally overlap with the grasses. So for example, let's do another one. This time I'm trying to let the leaves just go right on top of the grass that I painted. So you can do something like that. Let's do another one, just practice. All right, let's try with these leaves. So here we go. This will have a little bit of a different look to it. So we'll press down, drag towards us. Sometimes what I like to do is kind of combine these two leaves because it feels to me like these leaves up here, you're kind of almost seeing them from an angle below looking up and these you feel like you're seeing above looking down. So what I'll do sometimes with these is something like this and then kind of have these leaves coming down like this. And then down here, kind of do these, these little flattened ones. See what I mean? We're looking at these leaves going upward and these kind of coming downward. So you can think about that when you're looking at the plant, like what kind of angle you're seeing the, the different leaves from. One thing that I like to do is kind of add in other colors while things are wet. So I'm gonna use this light green. We're gonna start off um, with the light green. And then we'll do some light green leaves to begin, especially up at the top where the light is going to be hitting most strong. And then let's get a darker green. And while these stems are still wet, um, you could kind of drop a darker color in there. The more water you use, the more likely when you drop in this color that it's going to actually expand out into the wet area. Didn't quite get that perfectly here, but let's add some of these darker leaves, darker grasses, and just get a little bit of variation there. So I, I'm just trying to keep the darker leaves lower on the plant. You know, the lighting situation will vary depending on your image, but something like that. So we can also do the opposite. I mentioned it earlier, but so far I've been painting these all mostly in the same way, um, but you can also paint leaves first. So for example, if you like, you can start out like this. And then bring the bring the stems up to meet the leaves. That's totally, totally fine. Basically the same results, um, just a different way to do it, just a different order. So we'll bring some of these darker stems up. There's a lot of different variations you can do with these. You can let your brush be a little bit more dry if you want. I think sometimes it's cool when some of the leaves have like a little bit of a textured edge like this. So if you do decide to use a little bit less water, um, you can get some of these kind of effects. I like using more water for this because I like when um, multiple colors will kind of softly blend into each other in those uh, wet areas. And I feel like the grasses specifically are much easier to do when you have more water, but the leaves you can do drier and get some cool textures there. Of course, you can add some fun finishing touches, like some smaller little leaves here and there around the outside, or maybe, you know, add some little little grass tufts around them, things like that uh, to kind of finish it off. So my suggestion would be to take a page or two and just try practicing some of these techniques, staying loose with it, and just see what you come up with. I hope you'll enjoy it, and I'd love to see what you do. So feel free to tag me or share with me in my Discord server um, if you tried this out. If you enjoyed the video, consider giving it a like. Thank you so much for watching, and see you in the next one.